Yesterday, Nevada's governor signed a bill that would provide $380 million in public funding for a new stadium in Vegas. There are just a few hurdles left to clear before the move is official. That means the city of Oakland will likely have to figure out what to do with all that vacant land at the Coliseum site. Our Jose Martinez has a possible plan and a look at what fans are hoping to see. I'm here at the Oakland Coliseum, a venue that has seen many sports victories and community events. Now you can see it right behind me, but with the A's departure looming, the question on everyone's mind is what lies ahead for this historic landmark? Delta Foya has been a devoted supporter of the Oakland A's his entire life. It's crazy, you know, I, I, I absolutely, you know, I was born in 1971. I'm 51 years old. The A's I have been in Oakland all my life, so I'm still starting to digest it slowly. Uh, it's kind of surreal to the future. Now, like many Bay Area residents, he's left wondering about the fate of the iconic Oakland Coliseum. Yeah, I used to take Bart to the Oakland Coliseum when I was a kid. I used to live in San Leandro. I used to hop on the Bay Fair Bart to Oakland and cross that bridge to the Coliseum. So I, I would absolutely love to see the, that 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 area, the Coliseum, just rejuvenated, whether it's retail, housing, or uh, other sports events to house other markets, because as, as uh, the fans, they're, they're very, they love their sports here. Alameda County Supervisor Nate Miley says he's determined to bring new life into the historic venue and ensure it remains a vibrant part of the community. We're still looking to pursue a WNBA team. Uh, we're, we're working with Roots on the soccer to be there at the Coliseum. And so there's a number of still sports opportunities that we can put in place at the Coliseum. He says these plans might take at least another year to become a reality. The A's, they have uh, a contract, a license agreement to play at the Coliseum until the end of 2024. So we need to determine, do the A's want to continue to stay or do they want to leave early? Do the A's want to stay at the Coliseum and continue to play while the Las Vegas um, facilities are being built after 2024? Uh, all of those are questions and it clearly isn't just up to, the, up to the A's. You know, the Joint Powers Authority for the county and the city would have a, a word in this as well. Supervisor Miley says that for now, what's clear is that this whole process will continue to be led by the African American Sports and Entertainment Group, of course, using the insight of fans like Dale. So I would love uh, for uh, for the legislatures, the, the elected officials to really, and also uh, prospective uh, sports team franchise owners to, to consider uh, that Colum Coliseum site to uh, be a place for some other great sports men and memories could take place in Oakland. Now, Supervisor Miley tells me that the journey to reinvent the Oakland Coliseum is just beginning. They're having meetings once a month with the community to get a sense of what they want to see in this space. So the A's move, though, to Vegas isn't quite official yet. First, they have to file a relocation application with the Major League Baseball explaining why they feel that move is necessary. The league's executive committee will then make their recommendation to the other 29 owners. The owners will have their final say. Three quarters of them must vote yes for the move to be approved.